In today's video, I have come up the coast to scour the beaches for some lovely macro shots just like these. So I've come today to St. Monans, which is a beautiful little fishing village on the east coast of Scotland, a little bit north of Edinburgh. And I came here just to get some general shots, frankly, to have a nice bit of a day out. It's been a little while since I left Edinburgh and I very much felt like I needed a trip. And to be honest, I came here to probably get some more landscape stuff. Mon uh, St. Monans has got this uh, very iconic zigzag pier, which I've shot before, um, and I've shot quite a few shots in the, um, in the village itself. But as I was walking along its beach, I noticed that there are so many really interesting looking rocks, so many unusual patterns and swirls and textures on this. And it really stood out to me as an amazing place to get some macro shots. Everywhere I look, along here. There are so many interesting things. Every stone has got a different pattern to it, a different texture, different swirling colours. We've got little things like this. I think that's an old an old doorknob or some kind of thing. So there are so much interesting um, opportunities for macro shots, but it does involve trying to spend a bit more time looking around and actually trying to find these little scenes in all of this otherwise chaos. That is always one of the hardest things. You can come to somewhere like this and it's a big area and it's got so much opportunity. But when you're looking for such tiny little scenes, actually trying to find those shots in all of this chaos, all of this noise, that is what's really difficult. Keeping things very simple to start with, I just found this little pebble that's got these great lines going right across it. And it just is lying on top of a larger gray rock, so it really kind of stood out to me. So I'm focusing on that F13 to try and get as much sharpness as possible. It's a really simple shot, but I think it works well. I just love all this stuff. We've got this clearly like some sort of concrete building material that's now been sort of sea worn. All this amazing textures over this almost looks like a satellite shot of sand dunes or a desert or something and then all different colors and textures so much opportunity here ah oh, i just found this thing this rock all these tiny little holes in it these little stones embedded it's definitely going to be a shot here though i won't lie looking at it really sets off my um is it trypophobia You've got like an aversion to things with little holes in. Sometimes I can't look at crumpets. And I had crumpets this morning, so obviously it can't be affecting me that badly. Anyway, I was taking a photo, wasn't I? Distracted. So I still need to find like the spot where I think it has most interest. And I think somewhere around this side, it looks a little bit better than on top. There are more of these little stones embedded in it. I don't love that. Maybe straight down then. Mm, it's not a great shot. I think it might be one of those ones that's quite visually interesting to look at, but maybe not the most compelling of photos. And that's fine. Sometimes it's just nice to get a record of these things. So this is quite a fun one that I've just seen. And it's got the blend of both like the lovely patterns on this rock which if I just show you the rock itself I think it looks a lot like sand but it's been sort of carved by the ocean as it sort of laps against it and drains away and there is this sort of single pebble um, on top which full disclosure I put there and uh, the reason I put it there is because I think it actually gives some contrast um, between the um, lovely sort of flowing patterns of the rock and the um, sort of more plain static nature of that little pebble itself. I don't normally 
create little scenes like that, but there are little pebbles on rocks all over the place here. So it still feels like a very honest um, image in that sense. Um, and sometimes it is, you know, it is worth playing with your composition a little bit, neatening things up, arranging things just so that it kind of fits your photo um, a little bit more. If you're moving around tiny little pebbles, it's not doing anything wrong. As I've said before with macro of leaves or mushrooms, don't pick anything, don't harm nature in order to get your photo. But I don't think moving a little pebble on a beach is exactly going to do any damage. Again, it's just about keeping your eye out. And eventually something will catch your eye. It might be a particular swirling pattern on a rock. It might just be the way that some things are kind of laid out. And it's not a quick process. You can be in an area like this for hours wandering around. It's not like going to a viewpoint for a landscape and there is just kind of like that one landscape shot to get. Every step you might take across these rocks, you might be passing 10 different compositions that you might want. So, you know, it's important to spend that time really kind of looking around, doubling back, seeing what you might have missed. And eventually you will find things. And that is part of the joy for me anyway, is, is that idea that there's so many different photos that you can get and so you just kind of have to get into that little zen mode the peace and tranquility that comes from trying to spot some macro photos what i like in this shot is the way that we've got this old bit of brick wall um, with the mortar in between the two bricks and then we've just got this really nice sea-worn pebble sort of nicely fitting in that gap so i just think all together it makes for quite a nice scene. So I'm gonna shoot this at probably about F10 for sharpness. I might even focus stack, but I don't think it's gonna need it. I'm not even gonna pretend that this was an organic scene, but I saw this great rock with this amazing sort of circle in the middle, this naturally forming bit. So I'll just pop this little shell in, because I think it gives a real something to it. It almost looks like an eye. So I'm looking straight down on the scene from above. I just think it looks really, really cool. We've got the whole circle kind of there, and then this tail bit coming off here. This little bit of, looks like sort of maybe rust from like an old nail or something. I'm going F13. Focus on the shell. Oh, far too bright. Let's go F14, 80th of a second. Focus on the shell. That looks much better, but I'm also gonna focus on the rock, a little bit at each corner, just in case I want to focus stack this later on. Unbelievable. Very clearly, tripod leg shadow going right through that picture. You'd have thought I'd have noticed it. You'd have thought, I, I call myself a professional. I mean, what an absolute unbelievable thing to have done. Didn't notice it at the time, even though even when I'm filming the back of my camera for the video, it's clearly there and I just didn't notice it. And it's such a shame because I think that was probably my favorite photo of the day, um, of the macro scenes anyway. Like I loved that um, sort of almost like an eye pattern that that rock had formed. And yet that image is completely unusable. I suppose like I could spend ages trying to Photoshop it out, but I don't think it's that good a picture that it requires that level of, of work. But absolutely shocking performance on my part. I'd like, to, I'd like to say that there's a learning experience that we can all take from this of check your pictures and make sure you don't have shadows, make sure you're not in it. But this is such basic stuff. I'm not even going to insult your photography intelligence by saying this because of course we know this. But I suppose it does also show that accidents do happen sometimes. You can go out. I mean, 
even on professional photo shoots, I have on occasion turned up with like my battery still on charge back at home or my SD cards full of a previous shot that I'm yet to back up and I've got to try and work around it. You know, these things can happen. These things do happen. You kind of need to accept it, be happy with what you've still done and move on. In this case, I think I have got some other shots that I'm pleased with. But man, anyway, we carry on. Cheeky little limpet, just sort of trying to hide away from us with these bits of seaweed over the top. Should be an easy shot. Going F13, uh, 40th of a second, tap to focus on the limpet. Now this is one that I could focus stack and maybe try and get more of the seaweed in focus, but I actually think I like it because it gives that depth. It shows that the limpet itself is kind of underneath or behind the seaweed, whereas if everything was in focus, I don't think you'd get that quite as much. So I'm not gonna bother focus stacking here. I have totally switched away from macro for this next shot and I put my 2470 on. because so I've just been walking up towards the, um, the windmill in St. Monans and I've just sort of looked down and I've seen these jaggedy rocks and I really really like how craggy and sharp they look in stark contrast to that water flowing behind it. So what I've set up is a shot that really focuses in on those jaggedy bits of rock. I've got a 10 stop ND filter on there that's going to let me get a show, uh, slow shutter speed as you can see around eight seconds. So what that's going to do is blur that water behind giving an amazing contrast between jaggedy rocks and silky smooth water. So I've manually focused on this. I'm just gonna tap to take the shot. So what's caught my eye here is actually the contrast between the two textures. We've got the smooth lines of the sandstone on the right, and then all like the busyness of the, and the noise of the pebbles and the tiny little bits of sort of sand um, on the left. So really it's kind of this duality of those two things that particularly stood out. So as before, I'm going um, F13, I'm gonna go 25th of a second, tap to focus on the rock there. I've just walked around the coast and I've come here and I found another scene that I really like. Again, it's landscape or seascape, it's not macro, but check this out. This line of rock that just arcs its way out into the sea. Beautiful. So I've gone vertical for this, really trying to use these rocks as nice foreground. We've got the line of rocks itself that just curves its way up through the frame. I think it's really really nice i've got my 10 stop filter on here to make that water go all dreamy 20 second exposure f6.3 focusing on the rocks well that brings me to an end of today's video if you have enjoyed it or found it helpful then do please hit that like button do consider subscribing to my channel if you don't already and i will see you next time